The SodaStream home soda machine is amazing. You can make your own fizzy drinks at home, but the cartridges are expensive at almost $30 a piece and they don't make a whole lot of drinks. They put a check valve in there so that you can't refill them, but there's a way around it and I'm going to show you how. First, you need to go to your local welding store. I used Praxair and you need a CO2 tank, a tank of carbon dioxide. Make sure it has an eductor tube in it. An eductor tube or a siphon tube is necessary. You may have to call them ahead of time to make sure that they have one for you when you go there. Next, you need one of these filling adapters. I got this one from Amazon and I put a link to it in the description below. It's very important that you close the valve by turning the knurled knob on the fitting. Turn it clockwise from the top. Once it's closed, then screw the tank tightly into the fitting. Next, make sure the two fill valves on your adapter are closed completely. Now open the valve on the carbon dioxide tank. Open the fill valve by turning the knurled knob clockwise. As you do, any residual pressure that's in the, the soda stream tank will show on the gauge. Next, open the fill valve very, very slowly. You want to make sure that you do this just barely until you start hearing gas hiss. Otherwise, you'll trip the check valve in the soda stream tank. As it fills, you'll see the needle rise on the pressure gauge. On a full welding tank, it will go well into the green. My welding tank here is getting close to empty, so it only puts in about 750 PSI. This tank of CO2 from Braxair cost me $24, and I can fill SodaStream cartridges over 30 times with it. Once it's finished filling, close the fill valve. Then, tightly close the valve on the CO2 tank. Next, close the knurled fill valve on the SodaStream adapter. This is very important. Lastly, vent the gas in the line by opening the vent valve. Wait until all the gas is vented from the line. As you do so, the pressure gauge should return to zero. Once the gauge is showing zero, it's safe to remove the, the soda stream tank from the fitting. Now your soda stream tank is full and ready for use.